like to say, my family is bookends of the space shuttle program. I'm at Johnson Space Center in Houston where my family's story with the space shuttle began in 1981. In fact, I'm sitting in my grandpa's seat. I'm excited to show you this place since it is now a national landmark and closed to the public. My grandpa was network pool coordinator. Now what does that mean? He was in charge of releasing videos and photographs to television, newspaper, and magazine reporters. Now that's how my family began involvement in NASA. And this is where my dad worked as a flight surgeon. Do you want to see a space shuttle launch and landing from my dad's perspective? Links are in the info down below. My dad was trained to rescue astronauts if there was trouble. He worked at 22 launches and landings and sat in a helicopter over there ready to help when needed as a part of the Air Force's 45th Space Wing. Dad, come on over here. So the space shuttle program has retired. That was planned and everyone knew it wouldn't go on forever. But many people ask me, is it NASA canceled? It's not! Right behind me is the launch pad 39A, where Space Shuttle was launched. If you remember from the last video, I told you it is the same launch pad as the Apollo missions used. Now it's being retrofitted for SpaceX. Until one of those three companies has a capsule ready for human space travel, which is only a few years off, American astronauts use the Russian Soyuz spacecraft to get to and from the International Space Station, or ISS for short. I'm Ed Lord, and I'm here with Mr. Kirkwood of the Zionsville Fire Department. Now, Mr. Kirkwood, did you know that your firefighter here is a NASA spinoff? Until today, I did not know that uh, it was a NASA spinoff. Well, if you would like to see more of our interview, the clips are in the info down below. Isn't it incredible that the same material that protects astronauts protects firefighters, Indy car drivers, and even Air Force pilots and flight surgeons like my dad. Even though the life of the space shuttle orbiters have run out of time, there is so much to look forward to in manned space flight. I hope you will enjoy the ride as much as I will. So for now, this is STEM Ed Lauren signing off in three, two, one.